APC will take over Imo. Father Mbaka foretells a new year message. The spiritual director of Adoration Ministry, Enugu, Nigeria, Reverend Father A.G.K. Mbaka, has said that the Imo state governorship and candidates of the All Progressives Congress in the March 2019 election, Senator Hope Uzodima, will take over the governance of Imo state. The candidate of the People's Democratic Party in the governorship election, Honorable Emeka Yedioha, was declared by the Independent National Electoral Commission as the winner of the poll and was returned elected. However, the fiery Catholic priest who released the shocking prophecy during his 2019 Passover ministration held at his adoration ground said he wouldn't know the manner the revelation would manifest but ma maintained that no prophecy has ever been declared on this prayer ground without coming to pass. Mbaka warned those who may find the message uncomfortable not to come after him as such action will attract the wrath of the Holy Spirit upon such individuals. The shocking declaration, the punch gather struck the mammoth worshippers who came from all parts of the country for the prayer, including the Minister of State for Mines and Solid Minerals, Dr. Uche Oga, who also attended the program with his wife. Many things are going to happen in Nigeria this 2020 that will shock countrymen and countrywomen, but all would be to God's glory. In spite of all that would happen this 2020, there is hope. In Imo states, there is hope. Hope, hope, hope in Imo states. Imo people have suffered, but God is raising a new hope that would be, be an agent of salvation for them. He's coming with a new flag to restore the dignity of the of that noble land, a new leadership that will break barriers and there will be joy in the land of Imo. He added, lift your candles as I bless Hope Uzodima and I empower him to spiritually take over. How? I do not know. Please, if you heard that there will be a new government in Imo and you don't like the message, I will say, if I say Hope, you can say hopeless, but do not fight me. I am saying this in respect of those who may want to come after me because of the message. If you do that, the God of Moses, Elijah, and Elisha will deal with you. I am only a messenger of God. So guys, uh, that's the prophecy of uh, uh, Reverend Father Mbaka. But he said God told him that's what he, he, he has said. And how it's going to happen, he said he doesn't know, but definitely there is going to be a change of government in this 2020. Are they going to go to court or after the court? Because I'm sure that uh, the court has already given the final judgment. But since he said God told him, good and fine. But this issue of uh, threatening people, I think that's where most of these people, they just get it wrong at times. Since God has told you, even if anybody comes for you, that's their come for you in the world, in what sense? Are they, they are not coming to beat you. Are even if somebody comes for you, Coming for you is just like, okay, they don't accept, they don't believe. And that's it. Just like he said, that uh, if uh, if, he, if he says hope, oh, people who do not believe should say hopeless. So there's no point of uh, thre threatening people, uh, this and this and that. One thing I just like and one thing I love about God that I have come to realize even as a person is that the way people portray God is not the way God is. They just, you know, make you feel that God is really... This kind of God that will just strike you, they strike you, strike you, if you just strike you. If that's how God works, definitely nobody will, will be left here on earth. That is the pro that is the truth of the matter. That is the truth of the matter. Because the way they and that is how most of them they just preach in church, they do a manner of things. That's why a lot of people are just, you know, they are being conditioned. That if you do this, if you do that way, no, God is gonna whatever. No, 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 it doesn't work that way. That is what I know. Because if God really works that way, definitely nobody will, will be left in this say. Uh, in this whole world, if you say something, it is it is whether the people believe it or not, and they have the they have the option to believe it or not. Even God has already said that He has given you, you know, place life and death before you. The one that you want to choose, you choose it. But He advises you that you choose the the path of a uh, life so that you you know you will live so that you you will, you will, it will be well with you. So God does not really force anybody to serve Him or to to believe in Him. It is your choice. It is your choice. If you want to believe in him, fine. Not that he does not have power to do that. But the way most of these men of God just come 
and be telling you a lot of things. They always try to put fear in your mind. Put fear in your mind. Anybody who likes, who who believes, fine. If you don't, if you don't believe, at the end of the day, God God's word must be fulfilled. What He says must be def, must definitely be fulfilled. So you don't even need to say somebody is coming for you because in as in as much as you know, even if God did not tell you and it is your opinion, you have you have right to your opinion. Let alone you say God said. You have right to your opinion. And people can even say, I don't believe in God. A lot of people will say, that, I don't believe in God. Has God killed them? No. God will still give them that chance to be able to, you know, giving them that long rope that maybe very soon they are going to change. It's not going to force you. It's not really going to force you because if God has the power to change the narratives in this whole world, everybody, he will just, you know, he will just fling his hand like this. Everybody will just like, you know, oh, hey, the God, oh, hey, God. That is how it, it, it works. But it's just giving everybody that free check. If you want to accept him, fine. If you don't want to accept him, you know. But his desire is for him, for you to accept him. But all this one, uh, God of this, mm, it is only God that can even answer prayer or not. Uh -huh. The Bible also says that the costless cause, you know, shall not stand. If you call somebody and, he, you know, it, it's God that will answer prayer. That's just the way I, I see it. So let's keep a uh, finger crossed. Let's see how the there's going to be a change of governments. Just like he said, he said himself, he doesn't know. He doesn't know how it's going to happen. Good and fine. So everybody just, be, if you believe, fine. If you don't believe, mm -hmm, it's not a big deal. So if it happens, those who do not believe, they will see they will see it and they will experience it at the end of the day. And maybe from there, lots of things can really change. But let's see how it goes. So if anybody comes in and say, oh, eh, I don't like what he's saying. Good and fine. The person is entitled to his opinion. Even God, you can tell, you can say you don't, there's no God. And a lot of people who have millions of people who are saying there's no God. Has God killed them? But it is by his mercy because he knows that majority of them don't know what they are doing. If you believe God, fine. If somebody else does not believe, fine. It's still the same God that is there. Why is it God? Is it that God has not even struck them? So this uh, uh, threatening people in a subtle way or in, in stylishly is not going to work. It's not going to work. Everybody has rights to his opinion. Is you are entitled to your opinion whether you take it or whether you don't take it, and that is just the way I see it. So, like he said, let Emolites be ready. That means the government is going to change from PDP to APC, according to what he said. And he said, Uzo, uh, hope Uzo Dima will take over. And let's hear what people are saying here. And someone says, so far, I have read some comments condemning my reverend father. No problem, because he did not say that you will own a car, own a house. This 2020 will be your year of testimony, like others. Mm. If it's painted you, go and try him. If it's painted you, go and try him. Someone say, let's wait and see. Mbaka, if that is your prayer for Emo Light 2020, it will not come to pass. Take your APC to the north, not anywhere in Igbo land. All a Biafra. APC will take over Enugu state, not Imo state. Hmm. So Father Mbaka just made a prophet before crucifying him. Let us wait to see if it will come to pass or not. Let us remember that he prophesied the emergence of a PMB correctly. And someone say fake prophecy from a fake from a false prophet. Fake pastor have come this year to talk rubbish. Abi, hmm. this man is not a prophet. He's just envisaging the most likely events so everybody you know saying whatever they want but if it comes to pass to the glory of god and himself should not be worried that's my opinion no need to say oh this will happen of, of course he's, he has a right to his opinion he's the only god that will see answer such prayers of course only god that will answer such prayer just like i said hmm. someone say this is hate speech Fadam Baka needs to accept jesus christ as he only Lord and Savior of your life and be transformed into a new man. A lot of fake possible, a lot of fake people prophesying everywhere. God have mercy on the gullible in Jesus' name. And somebody say, the Father Baka should accept Jesus. Ah, uh, has he not accept Jesus? Is he not preaching Jesus? Has he not? Ah, uh, this this is really for you that he should accept Jesus as his Lord and his Savior. He believes in God. He has accepted Jesus. He's preaching. He's, he's professing Jesus and he's, he's preaching about Jesus. What Jesus is he? Is he going to accept again? Some say some pastors are nose deep in politics. Hmm, not them. The same people. 
this was a hate speech. Okay, we are wa we are watching if at all he says something like that. So guys, uh, what do you think? He has said it that that's, there's going to be a change of government from PDP to APC. What do you think? Leave your comments below. Bye.